Hey guys, here's the long-awaited full face of Rare Beauty. Okay, I already did most of my skincare already, but I didn't do moisturizer yet because I like to mix the highlighter in this darker shade. I use this as like bronzy drop. I also use this as bronzer sometimes. It works really well. And you just blend it in with your moisturizer and it's like the bronzy drop basically gives you such a pretty glow. Okay, for primer, they have this pore diffusing one and then this illuminating one. I used to use this all summer and it's like... One of my favorite primers. I don't know why I don't use this often and I like more of a shiny finish. Okay, I'm spraying a bit of their setting spray because it's like a prime and set. I don't have their foundation, but I have this skin tint, so that's what I'm using right now. My shade 20, and there's actually SPF in this, and then I'm just blending with their contour stick. Also, I have a raging pimple right here, and that just like covered it up. Okay, I think I put way too much. My brush is literally soaked, so I'm just using my beauty blender i use that brush so much it doesn't matter how many times i wash it there's always product in it okay now i'm going in with one of my favorite products from them it's their contour stick mine's in the shade good energy i actually love this contour so much it's so creamy and it's so easy to blend okay now i'm going in with their eye brightener i don't have their concealer unfortunately so i'm gonna use this as concealer okay i just use the lighter shade for under my eye for brightening and i'm using this darker one for kind of covering up some spots like under my nose blending with their concealer brush this brush has been there since day one if you know you know this is such an amazing brush it really like gets in all the crevices okay now for the fun part blush always so hard to just pick a shade but i'm gonna go in with happy and hope okay this one is hope i've been using this one for almost the longest time and then i usually mix these with one of my liquid highlighters so i'm using the shade enlightened and i just do one dot on each side fun fact. Ah! fun fact i've had this specific highlighter for almost three years now i bought it so long ago way before rare beauty was even like popular it's probably expired but still gonna use it for brows i'm just using their clear brow gel okay and i also have these cream blushes that i want to use i'm using this one in the shade nearly apricot and it's so pretty their cream blushes are actually so good okay this is another one of my favorite products from them is their powder highlighter it is such a gorgeous highlighter and it's so pigmented which is exactly what i look for in a highlighter like what the fuck like obsessed with it i'm setting my face their mascara is probably one of the best mascaras out there i just did a layer of sky high because i literally cannot put mascara on until i have that on it's like my primer for my lashes i am obsessed with their lip liners the best thing about it is that you can roll it up rather than sharpening it you guys always ask me what shade I use. It's the shade Humble. I usually use the lip oil with it, but I want to try this. It's in the shade Nearly. This is my favorite from the Body Care line. It smells so heavenly. It just smells like home. I love it so much. Okay, guys, that's all. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, I just got home to three of these super cute boxes, so let's unbox them. Okay, I think I know what these are, and if I'm correct, then I'm so excited. Okay, box number one. <laughs> love shack fancy you guys i'm actually crying the cutest note ever they said katie we are truly your biggest fans we're obsessed with your get ready me's and can't wait to see how you style these love shack looks hope to meet you soon in real life with love rebecca scarlet and stella so cute long story short i was supposed to go to their event during fashion week but i couldn't make it but they are so kind so anyways i've never gotten anything from love shack so this is like all my first time what is this <gasps> look at this little top <gasps> look at this dress it's like a halter neck ah! and then this is a top i believe also another like halter neck top and then we have a little perfume i'm pretty sure this is one of their new items and it's sold in sephora never smelled it never used it so first impression oh my gosh this is the cutest thing ever <gasps> exactly what i mean by so pink and cute and girly i'm gonna oh so good this is so fun and exciting okay we're on to the second box also look how cute the ribbon is Ugh. second box reveal okay what do we have in here we have a oh my goodness this is the cutest little <gasps> makeup bag it has a little heart pocket here and it's so spacious inside and then there's a matching like tote bag i think it's this way <gasps> Look at the little bow in the front. Oh my goodness. This is so perfect for traveling. 
I am so excited for these. Thank you so much, Love Jack. Okay, we are on to the last and final box. Okay, reveal. Ah! These are the cutest things ever. Okay, this is the most gorgeous dress ever. It's like a white long dress. <gasps> this is perfect for summer. I'm already loving the pattern of this. It's pink. And the halter neck. I love these halter necks. And it's like a little dress. It's so cute. Okay, this is our final piece. <gasps> oh, this little strapless dress and this is like almost like denim but not really i don't know literally so in love with everything let me know if you guys want a try on haul but thank you so much love shack i love you guys so much bye hey guys so i got this package from emco beauty and apparently they're like a charlotte tilbury dupe so we're gonna try them okay first i'm skin prepping because no makeup looks good without skin prep underneath i was up until like 2 a.m re-watching once upon a time last night i literally forgot how damn good and addicting that show was i literally watched it five years ago with my mom and now i'm re-watching with her i kid you not it's probably one of the best shows you will ever watch i'm gonna be watching it all day today it is sunday so i have an excuse to watch it all day and be lazy today was just about to do moisturizer but then i saw emco beauty literally has their own moisturizer this is it it's called the oh my god it's french souffle i don't know literally took french for eight years and i still can't say that this is like the drunk elephant pumping thing except it's not pumping up okay it's finally coming up it doesn't pump very well though you have to pump it a few times definitely need more than that Oh my god guys i think it's broken nothing will pump up anymore don't tell me this is out okay off to a not very good start okay they literally have their own bronzy drops too so i'm gonna try this as well it's like almost identical to my bronzy drops so i'm gonna try these out they look exactly the same okay now i'm gonna blend it in <gasps> honestly i'd say it has a bit more pigment than the drunk elephant one and the moisturizer is good it's really thick but i definitely wish i could have applied more on my face next i am so excited to try this this is literally the charlotte Tilbury dupe holy shit literally copy and paste okay i'm gonna put it to the test and see if it really feels Ooh, i think that's a little bit dark but so far applying it it feels exactly like the charlotte Tilbury one blend in with a damp beauty blender Okay, let's see. That is literally exactly the same. Oh my goodness, it even gives you the same like glowy finish. Exactly the same. Next, I'm trying their contour wand, another Charlotte Tilbury dupe. Okay, this is it with the Charlotte Tilbury wand. They're not exactly the same, it's just the same like packaging. Okay, this is the most satisfying part. Just squeeze. <gasps> oh shit, I think I did too much. I'm just gonna apply how I usually do with my Charlotte Tilbury wand. Okay, now I'm gonna blend it and see how it is. It's looking really pretty so far. And it blends really easy. Okay, I'm actually really impressed by that. They don't have concealers, so I'm just using my own. I'm starting to like wet my beauty blender before using it because I feel like it makes such a difference. Okay, now I'm trying out their blush. It's called the Highlight Glow Wand. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, it looks like a light peachy pink. Okay, now I'm gonna blend. So glowy and pretty so far. One thing I love about my Charlotte Tilbury one is that it's so glowy. This has the perfect glow. Okay, they don't have powder, so I'm using my own, using my Huda Beauty powder. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to take away from the glow. Okay, this is their brow product, and it looks really cool. There's, like, clear gel at the bottom. Then I'm using this brush side, and I'm going to brush them up. Next, I have this mascara that I'm going to try. This is the wand. <laughs> I tried my best, but I'm not a fan of this mascara. Last thing is their lip gloss. This is what it looks like. Really good first impression. It tastes like, I don't know how to describe it, but something that I've tasted before in like 2015. It's really pretty. Overall, these were all my faves. These ones are okay, but you can definitely find better. And these are a no. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Get unready with me literally washing my face in my room because my bathroom is so not aesthetic the lighting in there is also absolutely horrible so i'm literally washing my face on my vanity not gonna lie my makeup looked really bomb today and no one saw it 
I don't know what's been going on recently, but my body has been so tired. Like, I genuinely feel like I'm just shutting down. I've literally been sleeping for the majority of my days, and I go to bed really early at, like, 10 p.m., and then I wake up at 10 a.m., and it's so unhealthy because I've just been sleeping through my whole day, but I don't know. My body just feels so tired, like I can't go without sleeping, and it has not been your regular one or two hours sleep. I've been sleeping for seven hours straight during the day, which is so bad for you. No, I kid you not. I woke up like an hour ago, and now I'm getting ready to go back to bed. I don't know if I'm just stressed with all the deadlines I have coming up or if I'm just getting depressed again. I don't know. Hopefully, it's just like a little stump in my life right now that's gonna pass in the next, hopefully, couple hours. But yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. My mom literally woke me up at 7 a.m. today to take me to Pilates with her and I went with her and they didn't have a spot for me. Like, oh, it's a full class today. And I was like, bruh, like... I just stood there and waited for my mom for a whole hour. But there is redness all over on the inside of my eye. And the skin is so rough and patchy. It stings and hurts so bad. This happens a lot when I'm like stressed out and it's so painful. Anyways, hope you guys have a good night. Bye. This is how I get my makeup to the perfect glassy finish. This is Peach and Lily's Glass Skin Mist. Okay, this is my skin before spraying the mist. I'm gonna let it dry and show you guys the after. This is my skin after the mist is dried down. See the definition of glass skin. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after makeup. Also, a lot of you guys have been asking me what these pads are. These are Peach and Lily's moisture pads, and they make your skin so hydrated. Korean skincare is literally life changing. Peach and Lily has so many skincare benefits, not to mention all their products are clean. I've been using Peach and Lily for a while now, and all I can say is that they're amazing. It makes me feel so clean and hydrated every single time I use their products. The Glass Skin Mist is the perfect 3-in-1 product. You can use it during your skincare routine. It works as a primer. You can also use it as a glass skin highlighter that literally transforms your makeup, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys in a bit after my makeup is finished. My skin also tends to get pretty dry throughout the day, so I like to spray the glass skin mist to keep my skin rehydrated. It also keeps my makeup nice and glowy throughout the day. Okay, just finished up my makeup. Now I'm gonna go in with the glass skin mist. So this is my skin before. Now I'm gonna spray it and show you guys the after. This is my skin after. Completely glassified. Now I'm looking all glowy and refreshed. Bye guys! Am I the only one that has genuinely, like, never had or felt FOMO before in my whole entire life? Like, I understand the concept of FOMO, and I feel like I should feel, like, FOMO sometimes, but I just don't. 
okay no not getting invited to a function is one different thing but like getting invited somewhere and choosing not to go is like a completely different thing i don't know i feel like people choose to go because they don't want to get the fomo but 90% of the time, I choose not to go because I just don't want to. And when I see my friends post on their story, I'm like, thank god I stayed home 90% of the time. But also, like, if my friends do go out and I didn't get an invite, I've never felt any type of, like, anger or FOMO. Why do I feel like it's a bad thing? But also, I feel like it isn't because literally nothing angers me. Or, well, obviously stuff do. But this will never upset me. <laughs> also, I'm convinced that nobody on tiktok is capable of a google search like they will literally ask the dumbest questions in tiktok comment sections or they'll ask like things that could go two ways and then they'll believe whoever like responds to them there's so much like false news on tiktok like you need to get your sources from somewhere else and not tiktok the other day someone asked me where did you get your tiffany's necklace like babes you just answered your own question or I'll make a video dedicated to a single product, and then they'll be like, oh, where is it from? It's like, ugh. Also, guys, this is Say's new concealer. I've been using it for a few weeks now, and I think it comes out on the 16th or 17th. I don't know. I'll make a video when it does launch on the launch day. It's medium coverage, and it blends so well. I actually love it. Also, you know what I don't get? People who get mad over things that do not personally affect them, like... If it's not affecting you, why are you so upset about it? Like, if it doesn't impact your life or just yourself in general, the people around you, then, like, it's really... People need to mind their own business. Anyways. Just filled my brows with the Kosas brow pencil. Now I'm doing some Patrick Ta brow gel, which I'm almost out of. Okay, I'm going shopping today, and I'm so excited because I feel like I haven't been out of the house in a hot minute. I've been like hibernating for the past two weeks, so I'm really excited and I'm getting dinner with my friend after. Also, I really need to get um, contact lens like solution or like eye drops because my eyes have been so irritated recently. I don't know what's happening, but my eyes have been so itchy recently, like I can't stop scratching it. And it's like painful itchy, not like satisfying itchy, and it hurts so bad. I just did some of this highlighter. I think my itchy eye is an allergic reaction or an eye infection, but I don't think it's an eye infection because I would see it. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of my Summer Fridays lip oil. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, I have a really exciting haul. Trigger warning, if you don't like watching hauls, then don't watch this video. You guys already know my obsession with Tiffany's, so I got another bracelet to add to my collection oh my gosh <gasps> it is this little heart chain like and i thought i could wear it on this hand look how shiny it is compared to all my other ones i'm so excited i'm so happy i've been eyeing this bracelet for the longest time ever so yeah i got that and then second bag i bought this for my mom um because why not she's my mom got her a little ring this is the most gorgeous ring you'll ever like see like hello no man has ever spoiled her like this i'm the man that will spoil her to the max because she's my mommy and i love her ah it is so gorgeous she loves it so yay so yeah that's the stuff i got from tiffs this is the shopping bag my mom brings out but i got some stuff from sephora all from patrick ta if you can't tell i'm going through like a huge obsession with him but i got his um lip mask thing like isn't this so gorgeous and it just looks so good and moisturizing so yeah and then i thought this was perfect for coachella um i got this body like body shimmer not really it's kind of like a shine thing it's so cool i've seen him use this on like people and you like rub it across your body and makes your body shiny and then to go with that i got the brush because you need a brush to apply it with so this is the brush that it comes in it's just called like the body brush i don't know and then i got oh my gosh i got a white define jacket from Lulu, I sold this two years ago. I was so desperate for money. I sold this on Depop two years ago and I've regretted it every single day and they brought it back. So I bought it back again. Next is Aritzia. Speaking of Aritzia, they sent me fucking PR last week. I was like, what? Anyways, um, I needed to get some sweats. So first I got these 
These are my favorite sweatpants. I'm actually wearing them right now. I have in like the cloud white color, but I wanted them in gray because I wear these every single day. I'm a huge like sweatpant girl. And then I got this hoodie. I think this is their new color. It is really bright, but I thought it was really cute. It's like a blue color and this is their perfect hoodie. And yeah, that's my haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye guys. When I used to work at Brandy Mobile, I would literally give out my employee discount to random strangers. Literally, when I was on cash that day, and if the customer was nice to me, I would be like, do you guys want a discount today? And obviously, all the girls would be like, oh my god, yes. But just like most places, if you get a discount, all the items will be final sale. So I tell these girls, just so you know, everything's going to be final sale. Anyways, my friend and I would just hand them out for free. It was like the funniest thing ever until I made a big mistake. This mom came in and she was clearly buying stuff for her daughters. There was like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff and I was being nice so I gave her a discount because it was so expensive. Anyway, she came back like 10 minutes later and she was like, I want to exchange something. And I was like, fuck. And I wasn't on cash anymore. It was a different person. And so they were like, you can't get a discount because... I mean, you can't exchange it because you got a discount, so it's final sale. And of course, she was like, well, the cashier didn't tell me that. And then the girl that was helping her was like, who was the cashier? And then she to her, did a full 360 and like pointed at me and was like, that girl right there. I was like, this is what I get for doing nice things. Okay, actually one time, okay, I don't know if I should be sharing this or not because if I'm going to get in trouble, but like I worked there like two years ago, so I don't think it matters. One time I was cashing this girl out and her total was like $105 and I'm pretty sure she had like a $100 limit on her card or she could only spend $100. So she was like, actually, like, I'm not gonna buy the underwear. Brandy Mobile sells underwear, which is so weird. But they are pretty cute and comfortable though, not gonna lie. But that's besides the point. She like couldn't afford it and I felt like really bad. Okay, this is so bad. But I just put it in her bag without charging her, so I just gave her free underwear. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, working there was definitely one hell of an experience i got in trouble so much though because i did some fucked up shit also everyone's talking about the tiktok ban and this shit happens every single year so i'm not falling for it every year they're like this is so real this is getting more serious but like it never happens it was supposed to get banned today but nothing happened okay now i'm gonna do the cream part on top I don't know. What do you guys think? Definitely like dewier because the powder doesn't mattify the cream. So I like that. Okay, I'm just gonna do a bit of my cookie highlighter. Adding a bit more powder bronzer because I feel like it always fades away. Okay, I used my Dior palette yesterday and it was so pretty and glowy. So I'm doing it again. Okay, I did a bit of mascara off camera. It takes way too long. Now I'm using my new Patrick Ta lip mask. I've never seen anyone use this actually, so. Okay, it's so moisturizing. It's like, it tastes pretty good. Bye guys. This is the ultimate body cream. Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom Cream. Yes, Boom Boom, not Bum Bum. And their iconic scent, 62. I've been using this body cream for almost a year now. I use it after all my showers and every single morning to keep my skin hydrated. You guys all know my skin's just normally dry. And not just on the face, but my whole entire body too. It keeps my skin so hydrated and smooth throughout the whole entire day. It has guarana extract, which is the key ingredient that smooths and tightens the skin. And don't even get me started on how good this smells. Pistachio and salted caramel. Another bonus. This product has Brazil nut, which helps the skin protect itself naturally. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready me for my friend's 18th birthday. Okay, so if you guys can't tell, I'm in my friend's Emily's house right now. It's her birthday, and we're getting ready together. It's her 18th birthday today, and I'm so happy because we're now officially the same age. We're only a few months apart because my birthday is super late, but she's in 06, and I'm in 05. Okay, Emily's going to show you guys what I got for her birthday because... They are so cute, so we want to show you guys. Okay, first thing. Okay, first thing is these socks. Aritzia socks. So then this black tube top. Play. So cute. This keychain. Chain from Jelly Cat. So cute. I got myself one too because it's so cute. Right? I love the Jelly Cat keychains. Also, everyone is like pretending to be the girl who's receiving the gift that I'm giving. And I can promise you it's no one in the comment section. It's nobody in the comments. Also, I want to show you guys my outfit because it's so cute. I got a new skirt from Aritzia. No, but this is the outfit. 
so cute. The skirt's from Aritzia, and then my shirt is also from Aritzia. I feel like I wear this shirt every time I have something, like, important to wear. Like, I wear it to all my events. It's like my favorite going out top. A lot of you guys always ask where I get my clothes from. I have a link in my bio where you can see like all the makeup product I use and skincare. And then you can also shop all the clothing that I wear. My mom started charging me rent. <laughs> no way. I was like, I get it. You want me out of the house? I know for a fact that if I didn't have money, my mom wouldn't like kick me out of the house. And she's just doing this so I can be wise with my money. And like prepare me for the future when I like do have to pay for my own rent for reals. But I don't know. And like I'm moving out this fall anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm actually really, really excited. Emily's graduating high school this year, like literally in a few months. Also, the weather is getting so hot. I'm literally sweating in this outfit. But it's also because the sun's setting like directly into her room right now. So it's really hot. Her like balcony door is open. So there's a nice fresh breeze coming in. And it's so nice. Like... I love her room. It's the best. Emily and I were like 16 when we first met and then now we're turning 19 soon. Like our next birthday is 19, which I think is so crazy. Okay, just did my brows with these. Okay, I'm adding more blush because I'm a blush maniac. Also, I'm getting ready so early right now. It's like 4 p.m. and we're not leaving until like 7 p.m. This girl is literally doing her biology homework as we speak on her 18th birthday. Like what? Do y'all remember when I did biology? Because that was not fun. <laughs> Emily is one of the most academically driven person that I know, which is one of the many reasons why I love her because she motivates me so much. Today I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's lip liner. It's in the shade Super Size Me I'm using Say's Glossy Bounce. Bye guys! Okay, something that I don't get and will probably never understand is why do people get so mad when their underground indie artist gets discovered on TikTok? And half the time they're not even underground. It's always someone with like millions of streams on Spotify and also a bunch of trending songs. It's honestly the most like insufferable thing ever because they get so defensive in the comment section when people use their sound on TikTok. And like, shouldn't you be happy for them that they're getting exposure on TikTok and that people are actually listening to their music and giving them streams? And second of all, it's a literal music app. Like, this is where people discover new music. Like, I have found so many of my favorite artists on this platform since like, Musical.ly and I will continue to discover more talented, like, people. They're always like, I can't believe I just lost this song to TikTok and it's like, their number one stream on Spotify. <laughs> Also, do you guys ever see a video and literally see nothing wrong with it until you open the comment section? And half the time it's like people picking out the dumbest things ever of the video. Like, I'll see a cute video of a really pretty girl and then the comments are always like, ugh, pick me. Like, first of all, do you even know what a pick me is? People have misused the word pick me so much. Like, they say that about everything that they don't like. It's like, do you even know the definition of a pick me? I fucking hate that word in general. Like, pick me. Such a stupid word. But, like, pe people just say that about every single person that they don't like. They're like, oh, she's a pick me. Like, they call pretty girls a pick me for being pretty. Like, okay, you need to reevaluate. It's just so annoying. Anyways, happy Saturday, everybody. I hate the weekends because packages don't get delivered on the weekends. Anyways, yeah. I have the craziest April coming up. So, I hope you guys are prepared. Why do I always feel like one eyebrow is darker than the other? I'm just doing some hula bronzer on top. Also, I washed all my brushes yesterday. Like, look how clean this is. And I'm planning on using this brush now for blush because it was so dirty when I used it for, like, skin tint. I feel like it just got so wet and musty. Okay, I can't really see my face properly because I didn't put my contacts in today because I ran out. So I need to go get more of that today. But why do I feel like I look a little crazy right now? I'm just gonna add a bit of highlighter because I feel like I don't have a glow to my cheeks right now. Literally can't see anything. I have to like go this close to do my lashes. Okay, I'm just doing a bit of my lip balm because I'm really not going anywhere. Bye guys! I'm literally gonna cry. Tatcha sent me this box. Look at this note it came with. It says, Katie, we saw that you've been feeling a little stressed out lately and it's been showing up on your skin, so we wanted to send you a little care package. And then the ending says, P.S. We also wanted to include a little journal for you to brain dump. Literally the sweetest thing ever, the fact that they noticed and, like, watched my videos. So let's open it together because I actually haven't seen what's inside. Ah! 
Okay, this is she. I love Tatcha so much. Okay, first we have a deep hydration lifting mask. Oh my god, it comes with four face masks. I'm about to have the best self-care night tonight. And then we have this overnight repair. I think it's a cream. Don't mind how I open boxes. I literally tear it because I have no patience today. Oopsies. Oh my goodness. I have never seen this before. This is so cute. Um, I'm so excited to use this. And then next we have a cleansing balm. I love me a good cleansing balm. I don't even know Tasha. Oh my gosh. This is so fancy. Ah! This is like a cute little duo together. Okay, next we have a body milk and a body wash. I don't know what a body milk does, so I'm pretty intrigued, but oh my goodness. What the heck? This looks so awesome. <gasps> Okay, it's body lotion, so I actually want to try it out. Mm. <gasps> Feels so silky on my skin. Ugh, I'm going to eat this up. Okay, and then this is their body wash. I did not know they had, like, body stuff, so. Oh, my God. I'm going to use this in my shower tonight. Yes, I'm so happy. Okay, all right, that's trash. Okay, last thing in here is the journal. Oh, my gosh, this is so nice. Got me a little journal and a pen with it too. Oh my gosh, the pen says Tasha on it. <gasps> I will be trauma dumping on here tonight. I'm so excited, so happy. Thank you so much, Tasha. I love you guys, period.